Welcome to It Takes Two. I'm Blair. I'm Chris. And today we'll be talking about Big Brother Season 25, Episode 23. Hey, before we get into it, make sure y'all subscribe, like, comment, share the content. We're trying to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. We're almost there. We're literally, literally just a few subscribers away. Mm-hmm. We're about 920 <laughs> subscribers away. Help, please. Yes. Go ahead, Blair. <laughs> So we start off, um, we're getting some backstory on what happened during the double eviction, just getting a little bit more info. Yeah, a lot of things happened. Things were very fast. Things were very fast paced. So now they get to just show us what happened. Yeah. So Corey thought Blue would use the veto to take Jared off the block. So he put Blue up next to him. Hey, you still could take Jared off the block if you want to, Mm -hmm. but you will go home. Right. There will be a consequence for that. Go ahead. Blue says she would have used the veto um, if she was off the block. Um, Jared and her were talking and he said, you could just lie to Corey mm. and say that you you wouldn't use it or whatever the case. Just yeah. to make it so you could play <laughs> and win for me. So Jared thought Matt was one of the only people he could trust. And um, he that's why he picked Matt to be in the veto competition. Mm. Well, Blue, after the competition and Matt won, Blue begged Matt to use it on her so that way Sarika could go home and she could save Jared from going home that week. Mm-hmm. Jared goes to Matt and says, you know, I picked you. And he thinks that Matt's going to use it on him. Yeah. Matt's lying, saying that he will use it on Jared. They they even had a little lion handshake and little foot shake thing and things like that. Like <laughs> they had friends. Mm-hmm. But go ahead. They, listen, I don't know why you thought that Matt was going to be on your side after you was caught in the lie in front of everybody exactly i am confused by you jared but guess what you in survival mode i understand yeah well jared and blue blue talk blue shares that he was a target this week and he's um matt is going to keep the nominations the same Mm -hmm. jared is actually seems really hurt and he's saying that it would have been better to know it earlier yeah why how did you not know they were coming after you? I'm about to say, like, <laughs> like you should have known. You got in a whole argument with these people. The like, minute Corey won HOH, you should have been like, dag. Exactly. I'm home. I'm going home. Right. Well, Jared is campaigning everywhere, every which way to stay in the house. Mm-hmm. And Felicia is saying karma is a hot mess. It is. Yeah. They were trying to get her out to save Izzy. And she's, it's your time now. Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah. And Bowie, she is done with being played by everyone. When Jared is um, trying to collect votes and, and they're trying to talk, she's like, mm, I'm done being played. I want to work with America and Corey in that side of the house. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, listen here. Bowie Jane, you you basically the flipper vote. Mm-hmm. Like, we don't really see you with an alliance, really. We feel like you are easily, uh, uh, we can easily convince you to do to do our bidding. Yeah, you know, so so hey, I feel you. She Jared was trying to talk to her, but she was trying to get out the room, and yeah, and he was like, "Listen, you go hear what I gotta say." Mm-hmm. And she was like, "Well, well, 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 I have I have to go." Yeah, basically. <laughs> Next, we get a uh, Nicole. She's there with Felicia, Sari, and she ends up coming out and saying, "Everyone's voting Jared out to mm-hmm. Sari." Like mm-hmm. she just lets it be known. So Sari, she can't she can't say anything more. She said, "We're voting Jared out." Okay. Okay, moving on. A scary verse transmission comes in. Mm -hmm. They resent the previous transmission with all the letters filled in. And it says the BB zombies are coming and one will have their game resurrected. Yeah. Jared and Cam come back into the house of zombies. Of course. And then another scary verse transmission comes in saying there's no HOH, no veto comp Mm -hmm. or any nominations this week. The zombies will battle against each other. While one stays in the game on Thursday. Facts. Now, yeah. this could be interesting. Yeah. This could be interesting because I'm like, I don't see the point of resurrecting somebody's game because at the end of the day, I'm just going to vote you out again. Unless they make a really good plea or Jared, they change their trajectory. Yeah, there's really no point for you to even come back, buddy. <laughs> because I'm going to vote you out again. Uh-huh. Go ahead. Well, Jared is saying uh, Blue and Felicia did him wrong. Mm-hmm. And he doesn't want any conversation with them. He's in a room with them and Sari. Felicia said Jared and Sari played her when it came to the Izzy situation. Facts. They weren't trying to keep Felicia in the house. Facts. Jared said Felicia came to him with the final two option. 
and he ended up telling Sari and he learned about Sari and Felicia's final two. So, mm. so he's saying like, look, you're not as clean yourself. Like yeah. you be doing stuff too. Exactly. Okay. And Felicia <laughs> over there, like I never did this. Mm-hmm. Maybe, listen, maybe you don't remember. It was like on day 21 or day 27, whatever it was. Yeah. But look, it was said for once Jared's telling the truth. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. And Felicia, she's saying she's been telling the truth the whole time during this game. You haven't, though. Okay, Felicia. (laughs) And Cam, his strategy is to be calm this week. Mm. Great plan. Because Jared, I don't know why he can't just seem to lay low. I really don't know what it is. No, they they was arguing. People started standing by the door. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah. He just could not lay low. Next, we have Matt and Sari talking, mm-hmm. and Matt is really trying to play the game honestly. He felt guilty when he kept the veto, mm-hmm. and he really wants to rebuild his relationship with Sari if there was any type of trust lost there. Don't trust him, Sari. Yeah, Matt says everyone you know wanted Jared out, and he didn't want Sari to go home, so he didn't want to use the veto. Mm. Don't trust him, Sari. And Sari says she has a problem with trusting people that she shouldn't trust. Mm-hmm. And I said, exactly. You shouldn't trust nobody in this house. True. You really shouldn't trust nobody in the house. Yeah, but Matt was being honest. Was he? I do. I don't I trust do Matt. that way. Uh, Corey, Matt, and Jag are talking. And Corey is hoping that Cam wins this week mm-hmm. as far as getting back in the house. Because Jared automatically has people on his side. Mm. And Cam is a free free man we can reel him in to be with us. Oh, we can eliminate him again. Corey says that he can work with Cam, but he cannot work with Jared. No, we know. But here's the thing. We know that uh, Corey can't work with Jared. We know that off top. Mm-hmm. Right? But I don't know how much Jared, not Jared, Corey could work with Cam outside of getting Siri out. Because remember, that, that was Cam's initial plan mm-hmm. to get Siri out. When Sari is gone, mm-hmm. everybody else kind of is an alliance. You kind of the last one to become part of it. Once you kind of do our bidding and you kind of with us in and things like that, I don't see Corey turning on America. I don't see Corey turn on Blue. I don't see Corey turn on Matt, Jack. Like, Cam, you go be the odd man out again. You get what I'm saying? That's true, but at least he can be in the house a little longer and see if he can work something. Maybe. It'll give him time to be eliminated eventually maybe maybe yeah well blue and jared talk okay jared is upset that blue didn't let him know he was the target mm. blue is saying it's been obvious mm. yeah I'm about to say <laughs> and it like, has i don't know what jared <laughs> talk about but 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 no he's gaslighting i like it go ahead jared says all you had to do was let me know and you were laying in the bed with me every night every night blue says he's held information back from her too and this is the game. And at this time, she's going to focus on herself. I feel like right. she said that before. When are you really going to focus on yourself? Blue? Oh, you don't like blue. I like blue, but I'm just. You like blue? Yeah. I mean, I don't have a problem with her, but I'm just over her relationship with Jared. Like, I don't see the connection. Um, I feel like Jared is an awful game player. Like, mm. what? what is your benefit of being with Jared? So, I don't know. I don't like blue. I just feel like. Blue, like, cut cut, cut the cord. Yeah. So. I don't like blue. Why? Because she acts black. Mm, yeah. Like. I, that black scent type yeah, like, stuff. I, so, yeah, that's uh, annoying. So, like, I don't like blue. Mm-hmm. But um, she's not a target for me. For me, a target for me, I just want to see Sari. I just want to see how she acts when she doesn't have Izzy to sacrifice. Yes, Izzy, you were sacrificed. Mm-hmm. Um, when she doesn't have the mighty Heisum. When 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 she doesn't have Felicia, well well now she don't have Felicia because they because they should was yelling at each other. Mm-hmm. I just want to see how you operate now. Now you gotta win some competitions. Now you gotta be the strong player. You know, mm-hmm. I just want to see that version. Besides the whole like you know my son is here and and I got backup. Yeah, I, I want to see Sari in all her glory. Like please, I don't think there's no glory. That's that's why I want to see it. Yeah. Well, Jared says that Blue wasn't with him when he needed her the most. So mm. he is not feeling her at the moment. I feel you, Jared. Yeah. Just gaslight it. Just he's trying he's trying to listen, he knows that if I leave the house, there's no point in me having no showman or no or no relationship a- after the fact. I'm just gonna try to break it off with you. And right he now. says to her, he's like, This is really new anyway. Yeah, it's like, yeah, you know, you know what? I really mm. don't like the name Blue. 
You know what I mean? So, so like, I understand. Go ahead. She's asking, crying, talking about where does that leave us? I'm like, Blue, please focus on the prize. Come on. Nobody it's so annoying when people really get sidetracked by these showmans. It's like, stand up, girl. Mm-hmm. All right. Because so. you're going to ask me for some money, so I might as well just break it off right now. <laughs> yeah, so we move on, and Corey gets the house guests together and announces that we uh, are going to, well, the guys are going to play resurrection rumble. Mm. So for this, they have to, um, they'll have a decision to participate in the rumble or allow the other person to resurrect their game. Mm -hmm. Uh, They go to the graveyard. The guys have to remove uh, eyeballs and skulls, put it in their bin. They walk across this teeter totter to drop off the eyeballs and skulls in their shovel. Mm -hmm. And the first one with 30 in their shovel gets to decide their fate in the game. Yes. And there's three rounds. So the first round is tied seven, seven. Yeah. And there's breaks between these rounds, which actually gives guys the guys a chance to reset. Actually, mm-hmm. talk to the folks who are watching to for you know if you want to see me win, you have a little bit of strategy to help me get through this thing. Mm-hmm. So Jag gives Cam tips to continue to move instead of standing still and waiting to see if the balls are going to fall. Mm-hmm. He's like those seconds are really going to add up on you. Yeah. Cam says he's going to stay on the balance beam. He's not going to drop off. Like, that's another thing that's going to save him some time and movement of that shovel. Mm -hmm. Uh, So Cam and Jared end up losing all their balls at different times. Of course. And then Sari talks to Jared, um, you know, and gives him some advice. Look, running is not going to be your way of doing this. No. You need to be slow and steady and calm. Because all that jiggling and jumbling is going to make things, uh, the shovel bounce. Yeah. And uh, so second round, Jared wins. No, Jared has nine. Cameron has 13. Mm -hmm. And the winner will get to decide who plays in the do or die competition on Thursday. And we are in that last round. This is the last round for them coming up. And we're going to find out Thursday who wins. I think Cam is going to win. I think Cam's going to win, too. I think Cam is going to win. I think think with him not getting off the balance beam, I think that's a huge thing. Because even Jerry trying to lift his leg up to bring the thing down. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think Cam has the best strategy. Yeah. So. I, but unless he lose all his, his uh, golf balls or whatever it is at the end, mm-hmm. then, then, then Jerry wins by default. Yeah. Jerry wins by default. Anything else? No, that's all. Anything else you're looking forward to with, with Big Brother so far? Um, I just want to see the game move along. Like this week is like interesting, it's different, it's a twist. Mm-hmm. Um, but I want to see the game move along, and I want to see the pressure cooker get the pressure cooker in, and and let's see how how things heat up. So yeah. So nothing specifically. Well, I want to see less people, and to see how things get cutthroat between the people that consider themselves as friends. Okay. Yeah, so okay. I'm excited to that part of the game. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm really looking forward to see. After Sari is gone, I'm looking forward to see Sari gone. Mm. That is who I'm looking forward to see eliminated. Um, because I think the idea of Jared and Sari being the final two or one of them getting to the end is completely out the window. Mm-hmm. And then once Sari is gone, I think Nicole and Felicia, I think just by association, y'all out of here too. Yeah, they're going to cherry pick y'all off yes. if y'all don't get power. Yeah, so, so it, it's just going to be one of those. And that that basically flushes my idea of a black uh big brother winner this year yeah so far make sure y'all like and subscribe to the channel and y'all be good bye